Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Edie's ice creams. These are both from the Rocky Road collection. I have the Cookie Cobblestone. And I have the Brownie Brook Road. These it's were, very light. The, it is light. These were $2.99 each at Jungle Gems International Market. It is a 14 ounce container. Uh, so no artificial colors or flavors, fresh milk and cream from cows. It doesn't say it's their light version either, or they're churned or anything like that. It's just it's just a light container, it seems like, from other containers we've had. Well, this, it's because it's 14 ounces instead mm. of 16 ounces. There we go. Uh, chocolate ice cream, cookie dough, marshmallow swirls, crushed chocolate cookie pieces, cookie cobblestone, all of your favorite childhood cookies at the tip of your spoon. Yep, our twist on s'mores is made with chocolate sandwich cookies, gooey swirls of marshmallows, chunks of glorious cookie dough, all surrounded by rich chocolate ice cream. Campfires will never be the same. Two thirds cup, 87 grams is 220 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 580 calories. That's good. That's not bad. No, that's half what. <laughs> and the reason we bought these is because they're sealed. We knew they were sealed because if you look up under them, there's a little, uh, you can see a little Ooh, piece of white plastic. Mm -hmm. And so the regular size, the full size Edie's containers are not sealed. Uh, but it, when we can find them like this, um, then we're willing to try them. And I still, even though they're um, uh, in this size, I always make sure they're still Sealed. Sealed. Because, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Because um, we have quit buying um, blue, uh, what's the one that's in Texas? Blue Bell or Blue, blue Bell. Bell? Blue Bell. Blue Bell. We've quit buying Blue Bell completely because it's not sealed. And a lot of ice creams are not sealed. So we've quit buying the ones that aren't sealed. They sell Blue Bell in this size at Walgreens. And I checked, I thought, ooh, I'm gonna be able to buy Blue Bell because it's in this size container. They don't sell those either. Yeah. Tolente's the same so, way. Tolente used to seal. Right, now so just because it is in this size, you can't just assume it's gonna be sealed. That's why I'm saying, always look. Uh, so. We don't trust our fellow human beings. <laughs> no. Okay, I can see the chocolate, I can see the marshmallow. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. Yeah. Focus. yeah. It's still amazing to me how light that is. Mm, it's good. Did you get the, um, like I got a, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I did too. Marshmallow. I got like little I like brownie white pieces. Yes, I was gonna say I like the fudgy pieces. Mm -hmm. Cookie dough, marshmallow. I mean, it literally has everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. Really I like the fudgy ones the best. Though. The little chocolate. Yes, those, brownie pieces or whatever. Yeah, those fudgy pieces are so good mm -hmm. because your teeth dig down in them. And they got like a gritty sugary yes, taste. Yes, there's a grittiness to them. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. And I really like the chocolate ice cream. Yeah, the chocolate ice cream itself is pretty good. It's not overly like chocolate. It's like, like bitter or anything like that. It's almost like a chocolate milk. Um, That's good. It's so funny he said that. Because I was going to say, when I used to make my chocolate milk, my Nestle Quick, uh, Nesquik, I think is what they call it now. Um, when I put a lot in there it's powder when i put a lot in there this tastes like all that chocolate that sludge that's left in the bottom it's delicious it's pure chocolate sugar it's chocolate <laughs> sugar yes it's very gritty sugar it's delicious mm -hmm. that, that so, very good. i'd get that one again this is the brownie brick road uh, for the ultimate brownie lover, we know you can't resist dipping your finger into the batter. And whether you prize the gooey brownie center or the crispy edges, we have you covered. Two-thirds cup, 89 grams is 230 calories or 610 for the entire container. It is sweet cream ice cream, brownie pieces, brownie batter swirls, and crispy brownie edges. This looks like it's in like a vanilla kind of ice cream. That was chocolate, this one was white. Oh finished. yeah, okay. Let's see. 
And we have had these sitting out for just a little bit, but not a really long. Probably time. 10 minutes. Oh. I made sure I got a big brownie piece. That's how you could avoid it. Mm -mm. There's so much of it in there. Mm. There's something in there that's almost chewy. It's very chewy. I don't care for it. Do you, do you get it's those chewy pieces. Too? It's the those brownie? brownie. Yes, it's those brownie pieces. Yeah, the brownie. The brownie. Now I got a brownie piece just now that wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of those are chewy, like, uh, not quite gummy, but. They're all chewy for me. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't turn it down. It, um. No, when you, when you get those pieces that are chewy, though, it kind of throws you off. Yeah, it's just, I, I would have liked it. I don't know. I, it's almost like it has cold marshmallows. It's just uh, the flavor. When you, if you were it's to okay. have it by itself, you're gonna absolutely love it. But since we had uh, the uh, cookie cobblestone first, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's like so much stronger. Night and day. Yeah. I didn't realize, honestly, I didn't realize that one was a chocolate base and one was a vanilla. Normally, I would have had the vanilla first um, because once you've had this cookie cobblestone. There's no way. I know there a lot of people are going to buy the brownie because it says brownie. I would have thought that too. I really would have thought I would have liked the brownie more. And I don't. I like, and it, you, normally I, I like the vanilla base more. Not with these though. With these, the chocolate is so much, uh, it's sweeter. It has, a, it has so much more uh, flavor. Uh, you get the flavor of the marshmallow, and it's just all around better. Mm -hmm. I agree. I tell you what, the chocolate swirl in here is really good. And Kevin, Kevin is not one for buying chocolate normally at all. I mean, no. Kevin always likes the vanilla. So how do you feel? Same way. The 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 cobblestone is just so much more flavor. Yeah. Um, I like the the brownie one. Except when you hit those little chewy brownie pieces. Mm -hmm. Some of them are softer than others, so it just depends on which piece you get. Some of it's like a chewy, almost plasticky kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's just, um, it didn't it's work. It's a weird it texture. It didn't work well. But, but even aside from the texture, the flavor's just not strong either. No, it's not as sweet. No. It's it's not uh, it's not a rich flavor like the no. like the cookie now, now I do have to say when you hit the chocolate swirl though, the fudge swirl, it tastes just like uh, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like that's been squirted in there. But but beyond that, the brownies are just okay. Mm -hmm. So definitely, if you can only afford three dollars to buy one, get the cobblestone. Get the cookie cobblestone. Yeah, it's really very good. very good. So I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.